You're at a restaurant, and that ranch dressing on your wings tastes incredible. Creamy, tangy, perfectly seasoned. You buy Hidden Valley at the grocery store to recreate it at home. Same brand, same label, but it tastes completely different. Thinner, less flavorful. You've probably wondered if restaurants use some secret recipe. They don't. The difference isn't the recipe, it's the manufacturing. One uses dry powder you mix yourself. The other uses bottled dressing made months ago in a factory. Let's explore the process. Here's what most people don't realize. Ranch dressing is America's number one selling condiment at $1.4 billion annually, outselling ketchup and hot sauce combined. Yet most people have no idea what ranch actually is. It's not a sauce, it's an emulsion. Mayo base mixed with buttermilk, herbs, and spices. The buttermilk provides tang and proteins that stabilize the mixture. Without buttermilk, it's just flavored mayo. With buttermilk, it becomes ranch. The fermented dairy creates that specific sharp tanginess you recognize instantly. You've been eating this for years without knowing the base is cultured dairy, creating that distinctive flavor profile you can't replicate with regular milk or cream. Traditional ranch starts with mayonnaise. That's oil emulsified with egg yolk and vinegar. Then you add buttermilk, real cultured buttermilk, not milk with vinegar added. The buttermilk brings lactic acid and living cultures. Then comes the flavor, dried dill, dried parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt. These aren't fresh herbs. Dried herbs concentrate flavor and disperse evenly through the fat. Fresh herbs would clump and spoil. You mix everything together and it needs to sit for 30 minutes to 2 hours so dried herbs can rehydrate and flavors can blend into the fat. This is the recipe Steve Henson created at Hidden Valley Ranch in California in the 1950s, serving it to guests at his dude ranch. Hidden Valley sells this recipe two ways dry packets and bottled dressing. The packets contain everything except the wet ingredients. Dried buttermilk powder, dried herbs, dried garlic and onion, salt, MSG for umami depth. You add fresh mayo and fresh buttermilk at home. This creates the closest thing to freshly made ranch because you're making an emulsion with fresh ingredients minutes before eating. Restaurants use this exact method. They buy five pound bags of Hidden Valley dry mix, add their own mayo and buttermilk, mix in industrial mixers. That's why Restaurant Ranch tastes better. It's hours old, not months old. The emulsion is fresh. The herbs just rehydrated. The dairy hasn't oxidized or separated. But here's the kicker. Bottled ranch in stores is manufactured completely differently for shelf stability. They can't use real buttermilk because it would spoil within days. Instead, they use water, soybean oil, buttermilk powder, and heavy stabilizers. Xanthan gum. Modified food starch. Sodium benzoate as preservative. The manufacturing process emulsifies oil with water using high shear mixers then adds powdered ingredients and pasteurizes everything. This bottle will last six months unopened because it's engineered for stability, not freshness. You've noticed bottled ranch is thinner than restaurant ranch. That's because real buttermilk is thicker than water with buttermilk powder dissolved in it. Different base creates different texture. The taste difference comes down to fat content and freshness. Restaurant ranch using real mayo means 70 to 80% fat, mostly from oil in mayonnaise. That fat carries flavor intensely. Store-bought ranch is 40 to 50% fat because manufacturers add more water to reduce costs and calories for labeling. 
Lower fat means less flavor intensity. You've probably noticed you need twice as much bottled ranch to get the same flavor punch. That's the fat ratio working against you. Plus, fresh mixed ranch has volatile aromatic compounds from herbs that haven't degraded yet. Bottled ranch loses these compounds during pasteurization and storage. And here's where it gets interesting. Hidden Valley Ranch doesn't just sell packets and bottles, they license the name. When you see Hidden Valley at a restaurant, that restaurant bought the dry mix, but might have tweaked the ratio. Some add extra mayo for richness. Some add sour cream for tanginess. Some add extra garlic. The base is Hidden Valley's blend, but the execution varies. This is why ranch tastes different at every restaurant, even when they all claim to use Hidden Valley. You're tasting interpretation of a recipe, not a standardized product. The ranch dressing category creates strange situation where the bottled version became the default in American minds, even though it's the inferior product. People taste bottled ranch first, think that's what ranch should taste like, then get confused when homemade or restaurant ranch tastes richer and more complex. It's backwards. The fresh version is the original. The bottled version is the compromise for shelf life. Most Americans consume ranch weekly without understanding they're eating a cultured dairy emulsion that requires fat to carry flavor properly. The dry packet method gives you control. You can make it thick or thin, adjust the garlic, add extra herbs. The bottled method gives you convenience but sacrifices flavor complexity for stability. Neither is wrong, but they're completely different products solving completely different problems. You're not just dipping your pizza in ranch anymore. You're tasting the difference between hours-old emulsion and months-old preservation. Restaurant ranch is fresh buttermilk and real mayo mixed that morning. 70% fat. Herbs you can actually see. Maximum creaminess that coats your food instead of running off. Bottled ranch is water extended, shelf stabilized, pasteurized to survive your fridge for six months. Same name on the label. Completely different products inside the bottle. One is what Steve Henson invented at that California dude ranch in the 1950s. The other is what nationwide distribution and shelf stability required it to become. So, which one's in your fridge right now?